All right, so today we're going to have a great open box. We have the bit link. This one is the 8259U CPU. It's a 2.3 gigahertz turbo 3.8. Comes with a nice um, solid state drive, a 112 plus, plus 16 gigabytes of memory, Windows 10, and much more. It's pretty easy to upgrade. I'm going to show you the whole thing right now. How are we doing, everyone? My name is Dario from MediaPokemon.com, and today I bring you another great mini PC. Simple, you can run this as a mini server, flex, and much more. A powerful one, we can lock it this at 3.8. That's with a nice uh, solid state drive, an M2, and also easy to upgrade too. I'm going to show you all those things. Let's begin. All right, so let's check the build link. All right, so I would say the before 8259, 16 gigabytes of memory. 12 m2 drive comes on a nice box nice like game with windows by pressing right there put this way and let's check this up and we have the building here so take a look at the box nice design easy to log in biometric press here and the ship right here if you need to clean the CMOS power two nice USB 3.0 type C headphones and by the way dual mic nice it's gonna be easy to open the box by removing the four screws good ventilation on both sides nice design if you look at right in the back yes nice ventilation power DC 19 volts two LAN RJ45 and two outputs for display right. HDMI display port two USB 3.0 and USB 2.0 so nice and really good design for the box let's see what else we get so here what we have now the bracket to install your drive okay, has to be done. Power supply 110 to 40, 19 volts. Two HDMI cables, different size in case this, if you want to connect the monitor, or maybe you just put it around the back and requires only a little piece. The bracket to install around the back of the display and all the screws. So it comes with everything. Right, and the power supply, we got the power supply. I'll show you how we're going to upgrade the box. Very simple to do that. Remember, it comes with Windows 10 already put installed. So it only takes a few minutes and to start the box. Now, for the instructions, how to do it, they are uh, pretty simple and self-explanatory. Uh, for the installation of the drive, right? I'm going to show you that part. How to install the memory and the whole manual going all the ports. That's what it did uh, from the beginning, right? It had to connect. Very simple. So let's open the box. Very simple. We're going to remove the four screws in the back. And now we can pick. Now, there are two ways here we can upgrade this box. Simple way is by doing a 2.5 drive here. I know this. It's a D drive. And the way you're going to do it is you're going to grab the adapter here. Comes with this. With the adapter right there okay and then you're gonna push this up okay and then right there you insert that there with there put in the screws and you're done you add another two three terabytes okay so now maybe i want to upgrade the memory or what i want to do is add another m2 drive so we're going to remove the full screws to assure you this is simple guys if you want to replace the memory simple enough these are two two eight gigabyte module if you want to put 32 you can take this two and put a 32 gig or you maybe you want to put a 16 here make sure you have the same manufacturer the same type of speed so check check the part number 
you can replace one as long as you're gonna go and and use the same part number now to add another an m2 here show you one i have one here it's done pretty simple and maybe that's the easy way that's easy to install at a 2.5 drive so the way you do it should push here push it down right take that screw out push there right be careful with this don't touch it right and put it in put the top and you're done that's it that's the only thing you have to do then turn it on and window would recognize everything automatically right and that's it it's easy to upgrade right you just put the drive there or you can check and use it as the way you as the standard right you don't need to do anything special right we just plug it in it has a pre-installed windows so when you start and put your mouse there your keyboard a wireless nice a nice wireless keyboard and you're done it is pretty easy to get into the bias as well too right actually give you right in the top right in the back to get the bias press the key or f7 and f7 allow you to go into the boot up mode right it's right over here on the cover so that's nice because that way you can enter into the boot up mode so you can boot up from the network or you can boot up from another drive right okay so guys like always right you get one of these uh boxes mini pc i'll leave the link uh right below this video and that's your next time bye